Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. The rut's kicking in yeah. on the mule deer. They pop up from nowhere. These, these bucks yeah. know where these does are, and they're coming from miles of nothing to the food source. Three, two, one. Hey, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Where are we going? We're going to head out to Colorado. We're going to go hunt out with Colorado. full draw outfitters with Fred and Michelle Eichler. Oh my gosh. This, this is, is so is, much fun. You get all four of us together and they're going to close the state. It's it's a bad deal. Actually, it's not a bad deal. We had a great oh, time. Oh, we had a blast. We had a blast. and we I, Well, I had a lot of encounters and, you know. Yeah, I think there was some maybe favorism no, there being wasn't. played there I, I mean no. yeah yeah no he put you in a stand for a good deer he, he they like you better well so let's get on with the show <laughs> well doesn't everyone like me better <laughs> Before they know it, the crew arrives and the journey does not disappoint. With stunning scenery in every direction, everyone is excited to see what Full Draw Outfitters has to offer. So what are we doing? What do we got going on? We well, um, this is our East Branch. We got everything set up. We okay. have tree stands and blinds and all kinds of stuff. We have some trail cam pictures of some cool. bucks we've been seeing up there. Um, just a really cool area. Cool. So, and the red is on. Sweet. Yeah. Good. The big bucks are hanging out and getting stupid. We like that. Good thing. Yeah. Like it when you know, the guys get male. stupid. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Works oh, out just fine. Whatever. Yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> like, he doesn't have Fred to help behind him, you know? Oh, so that's yeah. like two against one Tom, right Tom, now. Hey, look at Tom. He's like hiding. Away. He's like I know. He's like, go the chicken. He's like, I'm not getting in this conversation. I'm going to leave Ralph hang to dry. You walk out of the lot. There's elk. There's deer. There's yeah. there's turkeys. There's yeah. They had there's a mule deer. There's whitetail. It. I mean, it's it's covered up in game. It is. It is. You are right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I am. Tyler emphasized that she said I am right. Oh my. Because that Lord. doesn't happen often. You are right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I am. tonight in camp with the Cien Cerullos. So you love your Traeger this year? I love my Traeger. I cook on it all the time. And I tell people, say like, oh my God, it's so good. How do you do that? And I'm like, I don't think you can you, ruin You, you, you cannot it ruin a piece done. of meat on a no, Traeger. You can't. You can't. I agree. Lee and Tiffany, right? Yeah. <laughs> As morning rolls around, the crew heads out to the tree stands for a full day sit and are just in time for sunrise. Well, it's our first morning here at Full Draw Outfitters with Fred and Michelle Eichler. We are bull hunting mule deer. Our tag is actually good for white tails or muleys, but we're set up in an area where they've been seeing mule deer. They've got some good ones on trail cameras. We're sitting on a 
found a hedgerow, like a fence line between, there's a winter wheat field here, a bunch of sagebrush, more sagebrush, and more winter wheat. So this is gonna be their travel corridor. The sun is just about coming up. It's December, we're in Colorado. There's mountains right there. What a beautiful morning. The rut's on, right? And I mean, they're traveling, and that's what Fred's got us all set up for. One's going to be close to, or near the food source, right? And the other one, we're in a transition area. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's perfect, great strategy, right? And that first morning, right when that sun hit the horizon, we spotted a buck, and he started walking to us, and that sun was just glistening off his antlers. I mean, he was beautiful. He was a hair too far. He was like seventy something yards. So, but he was beautiful. He was really pretty. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> It's the first day of the hunt, and Ralph and Vicki have but a glimpse of what Full Draw Outfitters has to offer. Hunting from a unique vantage point, the whole crew is ready for more. You know what's cool anytime you head out west is you have the opportunity in most areas, especially in Fred and Michelle's, that right. they're not just on you. You can see them from a long ways off. Right, because where we were set up, we were actually set up in like hedgerows yep. over the open CRP fields. So, yep. or the bedding green areas, fields. Yeah. you know, on the fringes. And the really cool thing, this is late season. This isn't, this isn't, I mean, this no. is late season. Yep. The rut's kicking in yep. on the mule deer. And, and I mean, it's really cool because they just, they pop up from nowhere. These, these bucks yeah. know where these does are and they're coming from miles of nothing to the food source. Right, right, and so where I was sitting, I could see that you green You were sitting field. like in a really I good could, spot. I was sitting in a really good spot. I could see the green Correct. field the entire time. What's up with that? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, all I got is a bag. Well, okay. we saw enough deer over there. I think that's going to be. I think that's where I need to be. Yeah. I do. That's, that's why when I texted you last night, I was like, yes. Let's Ooh. do this. He left me hanging on the back side. Did you see that? Thanks. He slapped me this way, not that way. That didn't even sound right. So the second morning, we head back out to the same stands. Yes. You, you were back out by the river, yep. and I was back in that hedgerow there. And we had seen a bunch of deer. You had mm -hmm. seen some deer out there. We saw a bunch of deer, and Fred's like, I really think you guys need to go back. So we go back to the same stand. And I guess it was about mid-morning, and we started seeing a bunch of field in the green field in front of, of where I was sitting. Yeah, they were up almost all day. They were out there, and Michelle had told me, and even Fred too, but Michelle said, she goes, Vicki, she goes, take your bleed. She, and I'm looking at her, she's like, seriously, you can bleed a bucket. And I'm going, that's not how we hunt in White Tails in Illinois, but okay. So, so we see a bunch of deer out there, and they're all kind of heading over to the west. They're not coming towards us, and there's a good buck with them. And so I tried the bleed. I'm like, okay, well, Michelle said try bleeding, so I bleeded. Mm. 
definitely heard that. And he came and he jumped the fence and he comes through the sagebrush and he's coming along the fence and I can't believe this is happening. And I was in shock. I'm going, See? how how is this possible? But then all of a sudden I realized there's no cover really for me to draw back. Like he's gonna see me. The sun is behind me. I am silhouetted up in the street. Any movement, I'm gonna get busted. And there was just a little bit of brush, and I thought, well, once he puts, once he walks behind that little piece of brush, I'm gonna go ahead and draw back, because that's what you would think. You know, mm -hmm. I'm playing this whole thing out. And he gets behind that brush, and I draw back, and obviously the brush wasn't thick enough, and he just and busted me. Busted. Bat. 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 That moment, how did you feel? I felt horrible. I can't believe I got busted like that. You would think for all the years hunting, I would not have gotten busted like that. And I did. You know what? It happens. It, it happens. Does. It happens to, the to best everyone. Of us. Yeah. I just, I was like, oh my gosh, it's day two. But this also, wait happened. a minute, wait a minute. The other thing you need to understand is you are in a lone tree in the middle yes. of nowhere. And, yes. and I mean, I'm not making excuses because it is, no, but it's I, tougher. No, I messed up. It, no, no, it's tougher. Mm -hmm. you, you know I mean? Everything has to be perfect yep. for them not to see you up there. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and I mean, hey, it happens. You know, and then Fred told me, he's like, oh, you met, you, you know, you didn't get drawn back. And I'm like, he busted me drawing. He goes, Vic, these mule deer, they really don't have pressure. He's like, you should have waited for them to get broadside and then draw because then his attention's not on you anymore. And I'm like, whitetails, we couldn't do that. Whitetails, you need to be drawn when they're broadside. Yeah, sometimes you're holding for two minutes. Yeah, I hold forever. In fact, I should have just drawn back when he was in the field coming that 400 yeah, yards. Yeah, probably like nine, <laughs> about a quarter of a mile away. Wait for him to if come. he's there. I got him. I'm on 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 him. Maybe that's what I should have done. Well, maybe next time. I wasn't there. I wouldn't say, but. Well, it's day two at Full Draw Outfitters, and I was definitely Full Draw. Didn't let it go, but I was Full Draw. <laughs>As the third day of the hunt arrives, Ralph is in the stand for another early morning sit. As luck would have it, deer begin to filter through the area just before sunrise. You guys actually spotted a buck and a doe breeding. And so you guys decided, you know what, we're gonna get down and try oh, to get closer. Maybe, 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 just maybe, they could get closer and seeing as how he was distracted, I don't know if she was distracted, but he was distracted, that maybe you guys could get closer. And we could actually see you guys with our binos walking through that sagebrush yep. there. And, and I mean, there were there were way more deer all over. Right. So we were really trying to be cautious. To win. Everything was perfect. Right. But we were running out of, of cover. I think he might be looking down trying to figure out and how to walk without making noise, maybe. No matter what boot you got on, I feel like they can hear you. So I take my boots off. I know, there's been plenty of times I thought we would never find our boots again. Take my shoes off right here. 
the only difficult situation was is, as usual, you know, there's other satellite bucks hanging with them. Right. And then we caught, we saw more doe movement. You know, we're mm -hmm. like, oh, so you tried to get them a little separated and you try to pinpoint where they're at. And that's the hardest thing out west. And that is to not, not locate the critters, but to pinpoint where they are, because then when you get on a lower platform yeah. and you start, you know, start getting closer, man, it all starts looking the same. And I mean, we pretty much, you know, Chad and I pretty much pinpointed where we thought he was. It, it's was it's he hard. There? Oh, he was there. But and she busted you. Yeah, she came up and went, ooh, look, little Italian in camo in real tree. <laughs> Here, here's the thing, probably nine out of 10 stalks, you're gonna get busted. Yeah, Something's gonna right. happen. The wind's yeah. gonna swirl, they're gonna spot movement, you're gonna step on, uh, just something. Or they're gonna get up and feed away. I mean, that, right. that's just what happens. Or a dang coyote or bobcat comes through. Right, right. But there's always that one time that could be in your favor. So, might as well try it, right? Just take your time, watch where you step if you take your boots off. Yeah, cactus is kinda hard. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yep. But you do what you gotta do. I knew we had him in line. This was the bush we had to get to. We got to it. She was there at 80 yards. That other guy was right over there by that green bush. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ralph and Vicki continue their hunt at Full Draw Outfitters, located in Southern Colorado. Ralph came close on a long spot and stalk, but got busted by a doe and has returned to the tree stand. Both Ralph and Vicki are now overlooking the same field, and out of the corner of their eye, they spot something truly astonishing. There's a coyote right in the corner. Like I had a beautiful buck that first morning, and then the second morning I was drawn back in the sun. Man, it really kind of messed me up. I mean, my you know what's shadow. funny is I was getting all these texts. Oh, see another one. Oh, see another one. Yeah, but one. I was seeing them like oh, 500 yards away. Well, we well, except for the one that was that first morning, it was like 70 yards, and that one that was at like 20 yards as I drew back and busted on me. You know, I mean, besides those oh, two, we'll talk about that one. But we have a lot more to share with you next week, so we will see you next week, same time, same channel, right here on the Archer's Choice, In and Colorado. it will be part two, Colorado, full Michelle. draw outfitters, Fred Michelle, a lot more fun, laughter, and more deer. Well, yeah, you gotta talk. I had coffee this morning. <laughs>